I called myself the quiet assassin because I am small, I'm really shy, and I'm really quiet. But especially when I'm on the ice, I try to be as fearless and fierce and strong and powerful as possible. Just to be an Olympian is, I feel like is really amazing. It's just something that I really want to be a part of. Figure skating is my life pretty much. I first stepped on ice when I was four, but I didn't really start skating until I was six. So it's been over 10 years that I've been skating for almost every single day. I think figure skating really helped me find out who I am. Being a shy kid growing up, it was hard for me to try new things, but when I stepped on the ice, I didn't feel shy and I had a lot of fun and I didn't care what other people thought about me. And sure, I fell down like a few times or more than a few times and sure the falls were pretty painful, but I realized it was a lot of fun and it was something that I wanted to keep doing. Skating is, it, it's complicated. There's so much going on. There's a lot of athleticism involved, but also kind of that artistic aspect where you want to involve a lot of facial expression, but also a lot of technical elements. You want to land the jumps, and obviously the spins, and then there's the footwork, and there's just so many elements to figure skating. I'm only 18 years old, but I have been through a lot of ups and downs. Like, it's been a roller coaster for me. The days when I skate really well and everything feels really natural, like, those are the days I live for. I'm as close to flying as I can ever be, and that's a feeling that I really, really love. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.